Initial setup. Interface dialog. When you start ML range after the installation, you are presented with the interface dialog. It is here that you can register ML range, select the main operational mode, set up communication channels to your targets and monitors and specify a results management system, if any. Enter your license name as it was provided to you by Megalink. Enter your license code. You can enter a sponsor name which will appear on some reports. You can also enter a range name. Operational mode. Normal is the standard setting where shot information is gathered from the targets and monitors. Simulate allows you to practice using the application. You can manually generate shots from the main screen. Felt fatigue is a specialized Nordic mode and is normally not used. Communication. When you have set up and connected your targets and monitors, refer to the ML2000 user manuals for details. You will connect your PC to the target system with one or more Megalink USB adapters. When you click the search for new button, ML range will search for connected USB adapters and they will appear in the USB adapter list. With a USB adapter identified, you can select this adapter as the channel type for one of your communication channels. Select the first target number on this channel and the last target number. Office. Office refers to the results management system that is to be used. This is normally Megalink's ML Reese which is tightly integrated with ML range. Click the Explorer button to find the Office ML Reese folder of your installation. When you are satisfied with your settings, click the OK button to exit. Select Event. In the Event Selection dialog, you can create, edit, load and delete shooting events. You can also enter practice mode where the athletes can control their shooting directly from their monitor. Click New Event to create our first shooting event. Event Setup dialog. This is the dialog where you specify most of the aspects of your shooting event. This dialog will appear when creating a new event and you can access it through the menu at any time. Setup event. Event information. In this section, you provide a meaningful name for your event and enter an event description. You should provide a unique event ID that will allow MLVs to distinguish between events when gathering data from ML range. Finally, you can specify whether you are utilizing start numbers for your athletes and whether to send data automatically to MLRES. Course of Fire Here is where you select the structure and rules for your shooting event. This is also known as the shooting program for the event. Shooting programs are divided into organizations like BIA, Biathlon, and ISSF, International Shooting Sport Federation. An organization can contain one or more programs. Each program can contain one or more disciplines. Each discipline can contain one or more shooting series. In the lane list at the bottom, you can set which lanes are participating in this event as well as specify lane specific options like shooting discipline, target type, value system and more. Clicking in the individual fields will allow you to set a value or expose a drop-down menu. Let's select the ISSF organization and the 10 meters qualification shooting program. When a shooting program is selected, each lane is loaded with the default discipline as well as the recommended options for that discipline. Here, we have filled in a name and description and we will leave the event ID as H1. If you are using MLREs, it is critical that the event ID that was defined in MLREs for this shooting event is the same that is entered here. If not, 
MLREs will be unable to exchange information with ML range. Now we will change the shooting discipline of the lanes to a rifle type. We can easily copy this change to all lanes by clicking copy to all. Event options. ML range offers a wide variety of options to help you tailor your event. We will take a brief look at each options section, but for additional details please refer to the ML range, user manual. A super finals is a special type of final where low scoring shooters are warned one or more times before they are eventually eliminated. Here you can enable that when the relay is changed it will affect all shooters. Otherwise, you can handle them individually. Marking on two monitors can be achieved by enabling this option. This is intended for running type targets with two alternate firing positions for the same target. ML range can automatically assign shooter disciplines based on the shooter's specified class. When using automatic discipline assignment, you can specify to ignore any target changes that might otherwise occur. If you have printers registered, menu file printer setup, you can enable automatic printing of reports. Their zoom option determines the scaling of graphical representations of each shooter's target. Marking is where shots are only to be plotted on the monitors and public display after the firing has ceased. Display shot offers a choice of whether to display the shot normally, a colored donut around the actual gauge of the shot, or as a gauge-only depiction. Shot value offers the choice of automatic shot value depiction, large type or hidden. Here you can specify some options for turning type targets. You can decide to use the split timer button, recommended, as well as removing possible frame shots and void exposures. If you have a motorized band advance on your target, you can override the factory settings for advanced length and shot frequency. Click the OK button to exit event setup. New Shooters dialog. This dialog appears whenever you are loading a new relay of one or more shooters. Click the OK button to load new shooters on all lanes for our first relay, Relay 1 main screen. The main screen consists of a tab display of your active lanes. Each tab reveals different information related to lane status and shooting activity. On the right hand side is the command panel where you control the progress of your shooting event, start and stop the shooter clock, load a new relay, edit scorecards and change series. The toolbar is used to access frequently used functions and dialogs. Main menu. The main menu provides access to the major dialogs and functionality available in ML range. Lane number and status icon. Each lane's status is depicted with an icon. The type of icon lets you know the current status of the target and monitor for that lane. Here, all icons show that we are in simulation mode. Normally, shooter information is retrieved from MLREs, but if you do not have a results management system selected, you can enter shooter information manually. From the main menu, select Results Edit Names. The current relay of shooters. The current series. The current shot for each lane. Shooter name. Shooter club. Shooter class. Shooter category. Shooter discipline. Shot stab. The shot tab is where you monitor shooting activity. The shot values are color coded as follows. Black, normal shot, green, imperfect pressure values, but such shots are normally correctly detected. Blue, the pressure values are suspicious. Target band should be inspected. Red,
pressure values indicate a possible fault in detection. Cyan background, manually inserted shot. Light yellow background, the shot has not been selected as a match shot. Open scorecard to correct. Please refer to the MO range, use a manual for additional details. To select the next shooting series, you can either manually select the next series and click the shoot button or simply click the next series button or click the F9 keyboard button. Since we are in simulation mode, the pressure values of the shots are also simulated and therefore do not indicate real detection problems. Now that we are in a match series, shot values are added to both the series and grand totals. If we want to see the current ranking of the shooters we can go to the sum tab. Sum tab. In this tab we can view the current series score, total score and ranking of each shooter. Editing scorecards. You can freely edit the scorecard of any shooter. Simply click the Open Scorecard button to access this dialog. To view the shots for a particular shooter, select the relay and lane number. The shots belonging to that shooter will be displayed. The quick list on the left lets you select shots belonging to a particular series or shots that require a decision or have been deleted. For example, let's delete this shot for lane number 1 and insert a shot in its place. Uncheck the shot to be removed. Click the save button. The shot has now been removed. Let's insert a shot to replace the one we removed. Set the new shot's value. Ensure the series is correct. Set the shot number in series to the fifth shot. Figure number is only used for multiple figure targets. Click the OK button to insert the shot. The new shot now appears. But the shot is listed as not decided. Set a check on this shot to approve it. Click Save. Click Finish to close the dialog. You can always return to the event setup if you want to view your event details or make changes. From the main menu, select Setup Event. Course of Fire The structure and rules for a shooting event are defined in the course of fire for that event. To inspect or edit the course of fire, open the dialog from the main menu, File Course of Fire Definition. All courses of fire belong to an organization. Let's select ISSF. Here are the shooting programs that belong to the ISSF organization. Selecting a program will load the disciplines belonging to that program. Selecting a discipline will load the series that it contains. Please refer to the ML range. Use a manual for details on how you can create your own custom courses of fire. Shooter's Clock You control the clock that appears on shooter monitors as well as that which appears in the public display system, ML view. To start the clock, click on the start button or press the home key on your keyboard. Once started, the button text changes to stop and can be used to stop the clock. You can also press the N key on your keyboard. You may also control the clock for each lane individually. Select the Shooters tab. You can start and stop the clock for any lane by right-clicking in the Timer column. Report Printing 
You can print various reports by clicking on the printer icon in the toolbar, or from the menu Results Print Scorecard. Graphics Scorecard Report List Report Shot Log Report Ammo Testing Report Thank you for watching this training video. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at support at megalink.no.